What's up y'all? Thanks for tuning in to North Peak Adventures. I'm here with my buddy Bly. We're going to be exploring this boulder cave and I'm hoping we survive it. Outside. It's all green and high altitude. And we're sitting in here, signing in box, keep a good record of who's coming in the cave and whatnot. So Bly's been here a bunch, right? He's mapped out some spots with string and whatnot. The reason the I said earlier, we might not survive this. Obviously, he's kind of kidding. But, you know, boulder caves, right? It's already collapsed like over several thousand years. Boulders can move. It's not all solid ground. There's a lot of tight squeezes. Climb down that way now. We're gonna get into this. People say mines are dangerous. <laughs> Oi. Oh, it's a bang in my shins. I have knee pads for a reason. I'm not wearing them. That's kind of a spot you can stand up. Yeah. The beauty of boulder caves, random holes everywhere. I don't want to bust the string. So have you pushed that lead at all? That's the, that's the route that I know. That's the route you know. Okay, so I went down there. It's hard to get your feet down here first. So you think it would be better to go feet first? but you got it. There you go, nice. <laughs> it's the cave and give, where suddenly it works. It worked. Nice. Sick, dude. Woo! Just as tight with my pants. <laughs> yeah, wearing the full cave suit for stuff like this is hard sometimes because it's so catchy. And it catches on everything. Oh, there's an extra lip there too. I didn't see that one. See that little stair you sit on? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, like butt seat. I didn't know about that. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see how I can do this. Tight squeezes the whole way. Yeah, it's literally squeeze after squeeze. After. We're gonna lay off the donuts. I'm watching the feet. And that's a short crawl. Okay, yeah, then it opens up. My butt. That's the one, the only downside to a wide room with caving is with the wide room. This is very much in the way. But with mining, you'll love it because it will protect you when rocks fall down the shaft. Alright, I'll place that. Uh, I'll place it here so I have light. No, I made it look way worse. I just beach whaled it. You came in with some technique. All right, where's my head clearance? Okay, cool. Yes, sir. Oh, 
This is as far as I've ever come in this cave, though. Really? I've never gone anywhere else. Well, that's cool. All right. It was a little step down. It looks like some slide in the step. Ah, I got my foot wedged. Hold on. I'll get. Good rock. Oh, dude, the amber uh, water droplets. I love seeing these. Oh, can I turn this down? Now you can kind of see them. Almost like silkworm, kind of. All right. And then we're in here, which is super cool. It's actually a really good photo. Oh, yeah. I'm in this hole, right? So that's where we just came from. If I can. Re, re readjust my life. Yeah, Scott. You found notes? Oh, uh, yeah, dude, these are sweet. <laughs> He's like, if you're skinny enough to get in here, welcome to the club. <laughs> Alright, where's my headroom? I oh, see that rock's ready to give way. I don't want to put too much pressure on it. <laughs> Alright, so we got a cool boulder room now. Oh, right, kind of a dead end, huh? I still say this is pretty cool. When was the last entry? Uh, the last entry was me and, and Steve, and we came back for the memory of our buddy who passed away. Uh -huh. But then I think the earliest one was 9-3-98. But I know, I know Scott Holt. He lives in town. Beth Lawrence, I think that's Scott Holt's wife now. Uh, what's the Speaking of the light, the video is sponsored by Fenix. And they were nice enough to uh, send me this brand new HP 35R. And so far I'm loving it. Uh, the light's warmer, so it looks better on video. I also got my E35R by Fenix. And uh, back to the video. Well, uh, so we're gonna try pushing this. We do smell surface air. Very strong wind blow. I mean, you can probably hear it on the microphone a little bit. Does it open up? Oh yeah. My pants might genuinely come off. <laughs> it's okay, from my angle I can't see it. Yep, yeah, you're good. Sorry. No, you're good. It happens. Is that a sigh of I made it through or there's nothing here? No, I'm through. Is there I anything there? A, I see a hole to get out. Is it big? Oh yeah, we can get out for sure. All right, coming up. Uh, it's definitely bigger than what you're about to go up. Oh, okay, cool. I have a feeling though that, like I was saying, this might be like a lot of the connections. Just annoying. You came up with both arms first? Uh, yeah, I went both arms, but I had enough room to like... I'll put that right there. That's what I'll be all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a nice one. Nice. That's a nice little angle. That's not even uncomfortable. That's actually really nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, we got multiple ways. Well, this is cool. Yeah, dude, I've never been in this. This is cool. Spot. Okay, so we got surface up there, right? And, uh, I want to get some light. We just came through that. Uh, can I get better light? I came through, we came through that way. And now we're going dude, either down or out. I want to kind of go out, but this is nutty. Out straight right this. Does it keep going? Like, it's hard telling. I can't see around this corner. I don't think so. I mean, it's a nice another little room though. A little break from some crawls and stuff. Dead ends here in this room. 
Okay. I'm gonna see what happens if I go up this way a little. Oh my god. There's a huge chamber underneath us. Where? Stoked to figure out how to get into that. Is it uh not the one we just were in? No. It might be. Behind the big boulder we're sitting on? We might be able to access it if we go out either one of these ways. Yeah, you out it this might way be a hole. Proper improper etiquette there. Can you can see can you see the chamber from where you're at? As soon as you poke your head through, look like do like directly right. Okay. Yeah, we could definitely get to that. Yeah, dude, you see how <laughs> substantial that is? It seems pretty big. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, there's light coming into it. So, yeah, we can figure that out. Nice helmet stone. Get a little rotation so I can come out on my side. Oh yeah, dude, we could probably go in right there. And then we were just on top of this the whole time. This whole thing is just like stacks of stacks of caves. That's probably our way in right there. And it goes down there. And you can see the room in there. Look, there's even room behind you. Somebody like cribbed it off. That one's pretty substantial too. That's got to connect to this. All right, well. Let's poke down this and see what happens. Oh, man, this one's super collapsed. All right, I guess we're going on top. We're down that way. Oh, no, we could bypass that. On top of the boulder, under the rest of the main rocks, you'll see when you come in. This is the room. Is it? Yeah, there's another one right there. So it's a good thing we didn't crawl down. <laughs> This might be a different room. I don't think so, because the hole should be right there. Huh. Maybe not. Dude, am I, <laughs> dude, am I, Claire, come here for a second. Tell me I'm not tripping. Tell me that don't look like an arrow. That's definitely an arrow. Like a painted one? Like a painted arrow. Yeah. yeah I was hoping for an Indian arrow, dude. You got me excited. Yeah, I'm I'm comfortably in here now. It looks like it kind of comes in uh, to your bottom or my bottom left, your right. You probably see my light, maybe. Yeah, I see your your light there too. Can you squeeze in right there? I said that looks kind of fun. I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna try and squeeze through this just because it's fun. And you wanna poke your head in there so you can see size? <laughs> yeah. Here, I'm gonna pass my helmet too. Yes, sir. And if you just film and provide me some light. How do I flick it? Huh? Yeah. further so yeah no. I'm just gonna try and take mental note so that way I... uh damn I don't my bag if I have my bag we leave glow sticks we just have to make sure to pick them all up but if we're leaving a trail then so that's why you came down right yeah I came down yeah right. dude look at this dude don't look it up goes up we looks like we have a straight dude, that way up. and then below yeah like up there up there oh yeah yeah this is a huge huge change this is this is a big changer I'm hoping to find bigger than that at the park. Dude, like it goes in here. It's a good foot holding. There we go. It definitely continues left. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. There's a nice tight crack right there too. It goes down a little bit. It looks like it goes up. This is a nice room. 
Then ends here. No. Yeah. Does it? Doesn't even go up either. Dude, what a tease. Ah. That's crazy. Okay. Well, uh -huh. this might go somewhere. Or maybe not. Yeah, see? It looks like it's tight. And then it just kind of like stops, I think. I mean, we found a big room. I'll take that. Is that going anywhere? Is that going under the collapse? Or the breakdown? No. I thought it would. I thought it would go under this way, but it didn't. And you can see there's a notch under one of the rocks and it's like get it starting it would be easy it's just it gets narrower as you go yeah okay so it's not as tight as it looks wow oh my god though jesus does it go or no uh yeah that's how it looks like it goes all right well we might be able to do that one from over here too what about behind you if you saw that's like perfect enough room for me to go from this position to stick my left leg back into it oh does it get wider a, a little lower down oh yeah oh that's cool okay it looks like it stops though damn Ooh. Where's the, uh, the one we originally entered in? Right, we just worked our way back around to the, the hole we first started in. All oh, this is like Swiss cheese. So we're coming back to go down a different route. So let's figure that out. My hand grip. <laughs> this is really cool. I want to recreate this spot. Yeah, this looks familiar. And then I came this way. Ah, okay, yeah, I gotta take the helmet off for a sec. Keep hitting it, I can't see. And to think I did all this with the light of my watch. <laughs> all right, brace myself with my knee. That'd be sick transitions. Boy. Yeah, this one's hard because it just hurts. All these sharp rocks. And I was also wearing shorts, if you remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so I then crawled in there and then I went down like behind these boulders. Dude, that, that looks like a mine tunnel, dude. Like a drift. It's almost pristine. Did you go down here? No. This is pretty much the area where I started hearing the water flowing. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just like down in here. It looks like water would flow. It wasn't like, you know, like the craziest flow, but it was like a notable flow. Woohoo! Skill. Oh yeah, this is a cool uh, room. Yeah, definitely. Water definitely flows through here. This is like a riverbed. Yeah, that's so that's what that other, remember when I got on my stomach up there and like was looking under all those? Yeah, is that right there? Uh, no, that's it looked just like this. So. It was like flat river, screen river. This is crazy. Yeah, this is a really cool spot. Yeah, you think somebody piled that rock scared right there? What? Where? Oh, right there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody definitely put this on. Without a doubt. <laughs> One, seven, nine, four. Well, you want to call it for now? Oh, yeah. I'm a down. Bruised? We'll have to come back and do more. But thanks for watching. Thanks, Phoenix, for uh, sponsoring. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope it made you claustrophobic. But I also hope it gave a sense for adventure. This is North Peak and Bly. We're out. Cheers.